Hello all you YouTubers out there. I've got this keyboard, which is, uh, happens to be a Dell, but it has one sticky key, and that key happened to be the G, and a really sticky is sort of a misnomer. I would notice that when I press the G, sometimes I would get the G, sometimes the G would not work, requiring me to press it harder, and it was the only key that seemed to be a little sensitive where I had to actually press it harder than the other keys to get it to register. So I did all the usual, you know, took my can of compressed air, uh, cleared out the keys, it's kind of shook the keyboard, flipped it upside down, thinking there might be some dirt in it, but, but that didn't solve the problem. So what I ended up doing, and I just thought I'd th show you this simple trick, I took the, uh, the key top off, happens to be the G. And when I look down inside here, lo and behold, I found this, which you see at the tip of this pencil. And it's about the size of a sesame seed. You can see it right there. That is what was preventing the G from being pressed properly. So once I remove that little uh, obstruction, like I say, it looked like it was a, a seed of some sort or a piece of dirt. Uh, once I remove that obstruction and replace the key top, it works great. Now these key tops on these mechanical keyboards are all pretty much the same. You can pry the top, you can pry the tops off and get under them. Laptop keyboards are a little bit different. I hope this tip helps you. It's really simple. Pry the key top off, blow it out, or just inspect it for any debris or foreign material. Get it out of there and put the key top on and maybe your problem will be solved just like mine. Thanks for watching and I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you found this at all helpful.